In this video, you will be learning how to create a variable frequency PWM using QBARD and STM32 Black Pill Microcontroller. Let us do a quick recap of our previous concept so that things will be pretty clear. The frequency of the PWM is given by the clock frequency divided by the prescalar times counter period. We can play around these values to obtain the required frequency. For example, Clock frequency of 16 MHz, prescaler of 2, and counter period of 800 will give us a 10 kHz PWM. For more details, please check out my previous video. Link is available in the description. The counter period is inversely proportional to the PWM. At the same time, counter period determines the resolution of our PWM. To obtain a variable frequency PWM, we will be first generating a PWM with F1 frequency, say 10 kHz, then change this frequency in real time. If we start with 10 kHz frequency, then we will try to make it higher and higher such that the final frequency is greater than the initial frequency. For doing this, I will be playing around with the counter period value, keeping prescalar value fixed. Open Cube IDE and create a new project. Detail the project creation video link can be found in the description. In the side of the window, we can find the project explorer with all the projects we have created. For this demo, I have created a project named variable frequency PWM280124. Inside the core folder, the SRC folder can be found. This folder has the main.c file in which we will be writing our code and at the end we can find the .ioc file in which all the configurations and settings can be done. By just using three command statements we are going to achieve a PWM of a variable frequency. The first statement is for initialization or starting the PWM, the second is for setting the T on and the last one is for changing the counter period. By changing the counter period I'm going to change the frequency in real time. Open the .ioc file, go to timers. I'm using timer 2 and channel 1 for generating PWM. The pin A0 is automatically assigned for PWM. I will keep a fixed prescalar -val pre value of 2. It has to be entered with one value lesser than the required value. So let's put 2 minus 1 for a prescalar value of 2. Now let us set the counter period. For example, let's have 800. Let's move to clock configuration tab. And it has a 16 mega, megahertz default frequency. Let's keep it that way. Now we should know that pin A0 will be the pin in which we need to check our output. Now let us save it and the configurations will be automatically included in the code. Inside the main function, but above the while loop, in this user code begin section, let us put our first statement for initialization that is HAL timer PWM start timer 2 channel 1. Inside while loop, the T on of the timer of channel 1 can be set. Remember, our counter period was 800, so having a T on of 400 will give us 50% duty cycle. Let us now upload this code and check our output for a fixed frequency of 10 kHz. I am visualizing the output using a digital logic analyzer. The frequency here can be read as 9.732 kHz, which is approximately 10 kHz. And this is generated at pin E0 and it's seen here on the logic analyzer's output. We need to play with the counter period value in real time to change the frequency of the PWM in real time. I am initializing a variable int variable VAR to hold the value of the counter period. Timer 2 ARR, this command will hold the value of the counter period. Keeping it variable will help us to vary the frequency. 
To maintain a 50% duty cycle, I will keep the T on always after the value of the counter period. Each time the while loop run, the VAR value is reduced by 10 until it becomes lesser than or equal to 400. When counter period is equal to 800, that is initially, the frequency will be 10 kilohertz. When the counter period reaches 400, the frequency would increase to 20 kilohertz and stay constant. Every time we switch on the microcontroller, the frequency would rise from 10 kilohertz to 20 kilohertz for the logic I have written here. You can play around with this logic to customize the frequency and change according to your need. Let us see the output. I'm running the logic analyzer. So sometime I'm stopping here in between and checking the frequency. It has raised to 12 kilohertz from 10 kilohertz. So again I'm running and will stop it. So now it has raised from 12 to 19 kilohertz. So until it reaches 20 kilohertz, the frequency will increase and stop when it reaches 20 kilohertz. Here I have a screenshot of three different instant of time to show that the frequency is changing in real time until it reaches the value we have set. So here from 11 kilohertz to 14 kilohertz to 19.4 kilohertz, it is rising. Thank you. Please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section.